Hi, Dr. Jeremy Singer. This is Dumbo Tan, and it's my honor to introduce you my application Connect Four, which is also my summer project. Now, I'm going to introduce the main frame of my application. There's are three different part in the main frame, as you see in the window now. At the top of the application, there are seven buttons which used to control the pieces dropped from the top to the bottom, and the in the central area there's a、uh, six rows and seven columns game board. As as you see now, the pieces with blank circle. We represent the available moves for both human player and machine player. At the bottom, there are three J buttons and one J combo box. The J combo box, as you see now, is used to select the three different levels of AI, and there are three AIs in this application. Monkey player, good player, and mouse player. Monkey player just randomly generate a move without looking for what. Good player uses mini max algorithm with searching six steps of the game tree. The mouse player use alpha beta pruning to search eight steps of the game tree. Now I'm going to introduce the major function of this application. The start button is used to start the game with a selected AI in the J combo box, and the clear board is used to clear all the pieces in the game board in order to start a new round of game. It could be executed during the game in either in monkey player, good player, or mouse player. There is also an undo move at the bottom here, as you see now. This undo move could also execute during the three different AI, and in the, during the game especially, but it could not execute continually more than twice, and this function could be improved improved by the using a. Array or a list to contain all the previous moves, but in here there is only one integer to control to record the previous move, and its function will be demonstrated in later in detail. Now we are going to start to test the monkey player. Press start. As you can see now, the background of the blue piece. Represent the human player's move, and the dark gray, the background color here, representing the machine move. Okay. Now, once there are four pieces in line, the background of those four pieces will turn into green, to in order to represent the winning moves, just like this shows. And a message window will come show in front of the main frame, and and as you see now, okay, now now we are going to test the undo move in the first level of AI. Click it. Okay, now you will see a same message window. Shows in front of the main frame to to tell you the user its limitation. Okay. Now, once I click the button, made the move again, the undo move button will release again. Once I click it, it is disabled. It will be disabled again. So now we are going to start to test minimax with six search depths. Now, first. I'm going to choose column three, then column five. I have to admit that I'm not good at this game. Most of my friends also think this game is not easy to win. If you 
do not pay more attention about this. Yeah. Um. Let me try to win column two. Okay. Oops. Oops. Ah, okay. Ah, I lose this again. But anyway, you will see the four pieces in line, and it's highlighted by the program automatically, and I gave the message window. It's different from the previous version, the monkey player, just as you see moments ago. Now we're going to test the undo move. The same. It's the same as the monkey player. Once I click this button, drop piece again, and it will come back. Come back to alive again. Now, we're going to test the master player now. The same. I'm going to choose five, two, four, seven. Oops. Seems I got no chance. Okay. I have to admit that in this level of AI, it has a bug, but uh, it's not usual, this bug. In just in some extreme cases, the bug will occur. The bug is like that, I have to say that. Sometimes the computer will ignore the winning moves automatically, either for human player, for blocking the human player swinging move, or take the winning moves for the computer player itself. But in this time, I'm lucky it's it doesn't show, but it has this spark, and I have returned this spark in my dissertation, so you could see this spark fire in detail in my dissertation. Okay, now. Is the same. I'm going to test the undo move for this application. Yeah, as you see now. Okay. At the at the last, I'm have I would like to introduce a simple tactic for this game, which is this move. This move, the central column at the bottom line here. This move gives me a big advantage at the beginning of this game. And the computer takes either the edge, left edge, or the right hand side edge. This move, this move would make the computer keep the balance. Either, either for um, rather than take the rest of four moves here, here, here. So this has demonstrated in my proposal and the dissertation, and this. Simple tactic was founded by Doctor Alice in his uh, dis uh, dissertation. Also, okay. In here, in my application, this piece has been implemented with a straightforward uh, uh, coding without the algorithm. So, if I don't take this move, the computer will take this automatically without implementing the um, uh, algorithms. But if I take this piece, the computer will run in the algorithms, and then the result is that the computer takes the edge move. In other words, if the computer takes this move or this move, which means the computer understanding or the algorithms works, so it it's also a kind of way to test my application. Okay, this is all my all of my application. I want to say now, and that's all. And I wish you have a good journey in Singapore. Goodbye. Thank you.